Hello, brothers and sisters of the light, fellow star seeds, way showers, light bringers, change makers, and the grid workers. I am Julie Joy, your servant of the light, with another message from the Ninth Dimensional Arcturian Council, as channeled by Daniel Scranton for February 3rd, 2023. And the title of this message is Arcturian Tricks and Spiritual Practices. And they begin greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We have been witnessing such tremendous growth in those of you there on earth who are willing to take just a bit of your time and your day to engage in some sort of spiritual practice. We are talking about yoga, meditation, conscious breathing, and a host of other spiritual practices that you have there on earth to keep you aligned and in tune with your bodies and your emotions. One of our favorite spiritual practices when we were in physical form in the Arcturian star system was to count our blessings. We would feel and express genuine, sincere gratitude, appreciation, thankfulness for everything that we could. And this is a beautiful feeling to have inside of you when you can look around and look for something that is right in your life or something that is right in the world. You automatically raise your vibration and guess what? When you raise your vibration, you are more open to receiving more of what you will appreciate. It takes a little bit of effort to do this because you are often striving for something that you don't have, something that is either just out of reach or feels very far from where you currently are. And so we invite you to employ this Arcturian trick. Appreciate the fact that what you desire but do not have even exists in the first place. The fact that something or someone or some experience exists should bring you joy if it is something that you desire. If it didn't exist, then you might really have something to gripe about. But everything exists and everything is a part of you and that's the other trick you can employ at any time. Remember that if it is out there in the physical realm where you can experience it physically, then it is also inside of you. And the best thing that you could do for yourself as a spiritual practice would be to feel around inside of your very own body because your very own body has so much to show you and to give you. That is why we will often stress the importance of being grounded in your body. Be grounded in your body so that you can feel what you are feeling and so you can feel for what you want to experience in the physical realm. We guarantee you that if you root around in there long enough, you will find it and you will feel more whole and complete just as you are. Remember to include yourselves in what you are appreciating, what you are showing gratitude for because you are infinite and eternal and you contain everything within you. Therefore, logically, you must be worth appreciating. Being thankful for your existence also gets you more existence. It causes you to expand to become more of who you really are, source energy beings. And that is a feeling we believe everyone needs to be striving for a little bit more. It is the most important thing for you to desire. And we know that after getting everything that you could ever want and then appreciating it, that it would be the only thing left. And so we recommend you employ a few more of these spiritual practices and approaches to living there on earth because we know that they are a very well-trodden path to joy. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you. So to me, this message is about gratitude. And I can remember way back before I began to wake up, maybe 20 years or so ago, I was being thankful for the water that came out of the hose for my horses every time it turned on because in many parts of the world people don't have plentiful water for themselves or their livestock or they have to walk very far to get it and when they get it home it's probably not even all that clean. All we have to do folks is walk out, turn on a hose or turn on a faucet in the house we are very fortunate. So I started feeling grateful for that. And then I started, of course, blessing my food and blessing my water and so many other things. And one thing leads to another. And the more you do that, the more you find gratitude in every single thing. Not to mention inside your body. I've never tried that. I'm going to try that tonight. 
Anyway, this marvelous, informative, joyous message was channeled by Daniel Scranton. His own website is danielscranton.com and his YouTube channel is Daniel Scranton, his own name. I will be able to post the words to this message below in the show more section. I am Julie Joy, always grateful to be able to bring these marvelous messages to all of you.